After eight years of fighting and more than 850 Americans killed, the U.S. is starting over in Afghanistan. Why isn't it better? That's a fair question. It's a fair At a speech question. in London on Thursday, General Stanley McChrystal, the American commander in Afghanistan, said not only is it not better, many things are worse. It's true that after eight years, after a lot of tremendous efforts, a lot of expenditures, loss of good people, many indicators, many things are worse. According to McChrystal, violence is up, whether you measure it by the number of Taliban attacks, the number of American casualties, or the number of Afghan citizens living in fear. It took us longer than I wish it had to recognize this as a serious insurgency. As the Taliban started to come back into effectiveness, I think we lagged accepting that as a clear reality. McChrystal's dire assessment that the war could be lost in the next 12 months if he doesn't get more troops sent the president and his top national security advisors back to the Situation Room. What should American strategy be? Right now, the strategy is counterinsurgency, which, as McChrystal explained to his troops in this document, means we need to do much more than simply kill or capture militants. It's a labor-intensive strategy. American troops going into villages to develop a working relationship with the elders. You try to reshape the environment, not just to eliminate terrorists, but to cut off their ability to replenish their ranks. According to Bruce Hoffman, a professor at Georgetown University's School of Foreign Service, counterinsurgency is much more ambitious than simply killing or capturing militants, a strategy known as counterterrorism. Can you win with counterterrorism? No, I think history shows that you can hold an opponent at bay, you can reduce their power, but you cannot win a complete victory just relying on counterterrorism tactics. But does the U.S. have to defeat the Taliban in Afghanistan in order to defeat the real enemy, al-Qaeda, which is based across the border in Pakistan, and which, by all accounts, including that of Mike Leiter, the nation's top counterterrorism official, is taking a pounding from CIA drone strikes? Al-Qaeda and its allies have suffered significant leadership losses over the last 18 months, interrupting training and plotting and potentially disrupting plots. If the goal is to defeat Al-Qaeda, then maybe all we have to do, so the argument goes, is keep up the drone strikes in Pakistan and fight on with what we already have in Afghanistan. It's a strategy which goes by the name Counterterrorism Plus. Counterterrorism Plus means failure to me. Until recently, Fred Kagan of the American Enterprise Institute was an advisor to General McChrystal. The Taliban return to power in Afghanistan, Kagan says, will allow al-Qaeda to reestablish its safe havens there. So you will have recreated in a, different, in a new and different form the conditions that generated 9-11. That's why we need to be there from the standpoint of fighting al-Qaeda. And Kagan thinks that will require 40 to 45,000 more troops. We're losing, and we need more forces to reverse momentum that the enemy has acquired. And so if you, if you try to hold with the forces that we have now, the situation will continue to deteriorate. We need to reverse the current trends, and time does matter. The eighth anniversary of the start of the war will come and go this week. But President Obama and his advisors have not yet figured out how hard Afghanistan is worth fighting for.